That's right, we finally have new information on the upcoming Saints Row movie. If you completely forgot about this project, well, I wouldn't blame you. In the two years since it was announced, we've heard little to nothing on the progress of the film. However, thanks to a recent Collider article, we now have an update on the production of the project and even its tone. In the article, the film's writer Greg Russo is asked about adapting an open-world game into a movie and how the tone will be handled for a chaotic series like Saints Row. Let's take a listen. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's a tricky one, right? I mean, I love the franchise. I've played all the games, huge fan of it. And we have a you know, director, F. Gary Gray, who's attached to it, who's an amazing, uh, you know, visionary director. Um, he's done some incredible, one of my, some, some of my favorite films, including Set It Off, which I still think is one of the best. He's got a great vision for it. He knows what he wants to do. I think from a story, from a storytelling perspective, it was, you know, it was two things. It was, it was the, the tricky things with something like Saints Row is that it's going to be tone right away, right? Because you know, if you know the franchise, you know that it, it, it's, it basically had two tones. It has more of the gritty tone, which is the first couple movies, and then it goes kind of bonkers and just absolutely insane. And so we wanted to make sure that we weren't isolating either of those. So that so it's about it's about just trying to find a find the tonal balance where you have real characters, real stakes. Again, it's part of it with Mortal Kombat too. It's like you want it to you want it to feel real. You want the characters to feel real as much as possible, but you also want to lean into what made it fun and lean into that craziness. So. Part of it was trying to figure out that tone, which I think it's it's finally gotten into a place where it makes sense. And then it was a matter of what kind of movie is this? Because how do you take an open world movie and tell a story? So, you know, I looked at different films that I really love. I'm a big fan of 70s cinema. So I looked at The Warriors. Uh, I looked at uh, Escape from New York. Um, yeah, just some of those classics. And I said, well, how do we how do we kind of pull from some of those and tell our own unique story? So I'm excited for it. We'll see. So we got a lot of good information here. It sounds like the tone will be a balance between all the Saints Row games, which seems like the best possible option. And the characters will be taken seriously, but with fun elements that make the game so enjoyable. Greg mentioning the Warriors and Escape from New York as inspirations is quite interesting since we heard similar reports for previous Saints Row movie attempts that were cancelled. Overall, it seems we're still a long ways away from seeing the movie on the big screen, but we can at least be thankful it's incompetent hands that appear to have great passion for the series. We know from July of last year that the script just finished its second draft, so I'm sure it's nearly finished by now. And since Greg Russo wrote the upcoming Mortal Kombat film, I'll be curious to see it to get a vibe for Russo's writing and see if the characters are treated with the respect we can only hope to see in the Saints Row movie. Plus, with F. Gary Gray directing the project, I have high hopes he'll know how to handle the source material. Just take a look at his past films such as Straight Outta Compton, The Fate and the Furious, Friday, and Men in Black International. Oh... Anyway, that's all the news I have for you today. If you would like to see the article and interview with Greg Russo, you'll find a link in the description below. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Such a basic white name. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Wait, is that a Transformer? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, Dad, we walk into it? I have no idea.